Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Kay and if this is the first time you visit this YouTube channel, technically I make vlogs here and yeah, I, I, I don't know I don't know a better way to explain it, but you know, I make vlogs, that's it. And I haven't really posted recently, not a lot of videos, I understand, because of the coursework, because of university, because of depression, a lot of stuff's going on. But yeah, I finally found time to make a video today, so <laughs> technically, yeah, it's gonna be another video about Sunway University. Because if you notice, I've been studying Sunway for almost almost two years. Not like two years, but like thing like one year and then six or eight months. So I, I've spent quite a number of time here and I love to share some experience. I'm gonna talk about ADTP, how to enroll, some kind of tips and what should you expect from ADTP. Okay, so let's get into it. <music> Let me tie my hair first. All right, I look much better now. Okay, so first of all, ADTP, what is that? American Degree Transfer Program, or ADTP is actually a degree for you to transfer to America. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, you know, so. Okay, serious, this is a degree for you to study so you can transfer to almost any universities that accept this kind of degree, American degree. Yeah, not just within the United States, but it can be Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Russia, China, Japan, whatever. Whatever university accepts this degree, you're gonna be fine with that. But usually people would transfer to America because we have quite a number of American subjects here such as American history, American religion, American politics and the duration of this program is gonna be somewhat between one to two years some people take three years here because the university accepts three plus one kind of program and they accept you if you study here for three years but most universities require you to study the last two years in their university so it kind of depends on that and that is going to be something fun about the program and something challenging about this program as well because you have to do a lot of research you have to go on their website and read a lot of information published there so that you know what should you expect and which university accept the degree and what requirements that they have but it's also very flexible because you have a variety of choices to choose to go to different universities in the world. Uh, some big partners of Sunway include Waterloo University in Canada, and then York University, Western Michigan, a lot of other universities in the United States, Australia, and New Zealand. I cannot really name them in this video because we're gonna make this video about 10 20 minutes long, but you get what I mean. Okay, so how to enroll in this program, you might ask. Just go to the website. Yeah, that, that that's what people do. That's how we started. And thank you very much. Uh, this is the end of the video. No, 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 no! Don't go, don't go. Just joking. Okay. But yeah, serious. You can find out information on the website of the university, the program. But my advice to you is try to find the contact of people in charge of the program. You might find out on the website as well. But if you cannot find that, just email directly to Sunway uh, Education and ask them about the program. They would then direct you to the people in charge of ADTP. Those people in charge would then send you the information regarding the programs, the requirements, and the outcomes, the expectations for you so that you can read it. From. For international students like me, I'm gonna make a video on advice and tips for you. But in short, it's gonna be somewhat different because some countries they have representative there. So it's best for you to find a representative and work with them before you go to Sunway. How do you find a representative? Uh, much more like the same with the local students. You have to go through the websites and then email them or you know contact them and ask them how the process is like and if. In your country, there's a representative. Those people would then direct you to those representatives in the country, and that's gonna make things way easier because they speak your mother tongue and they work with you and they will guide you, give you some great tips and advice. Because I come from Vietnam, and there's a representative in Vietnam called Enec, and technically I worked with them since the beginning until I came to Sunway University, which was amazingly helpful. In terms of the requirement, what you might need is the high school transcript. And if you're international students, you might need the IELTS because 
everything here is conducted in English, so they want to make sure that you kind of speak the language fluently and you understand it. But for local students, I don't know what else you need. I think it's much more like the same, just like transcripts. You might need to check out the scholarship. Uh, for me, unfortunately, an international student didn't really have the scholarship when I first joined the university because first of all, I took one year gap in between but for local students a lot of my friends actually got really good amount of scholarship when they entered university so if you're Malaysians check it out on their website so what should you do after you enroll in the university okay let's say let's say imagine that you get through all of the tedious process in the beginning preparing documents and now you prepare to go to university so what should you do <sighs> um nothing much enjoy your last days having no classes, I guess. I mean, well, what, what kind of advice do you want me to give you? It's universities, it's classes, so of course you have to prepare a lot of stuff and it depends what you want to bring up to classes. But, you know, create attitude, openness to new things and being friendly are those of the traits that you should keep within yourself and should learn in university because you're gonna need it a lot. But wait, I want to talk about the orientation because I think that's very crucial. So orientation usually takes place one or two weeks before the semester starts. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Sin. On the orientation day, the lecturers would be there either physically or virtually and they will kind of, you know, tell you the name and what they're in charge so that you have a bigger picture of what is the program like. Trust me, you don't remember all the lecturers' names, but it doesn't matter what it is, right? You're just there and you're... Oh yeah, this lecturer looks really cool. That looks... That lecturer looks a bit scary. Oh, that lecturer... That actually looks cool as well, but... A bit scared. Well, that's technically the reaction uh, of new in text when they see the lecturer. But trust me, all of the ADTB lecturers are really cool, friendly, and they are willing to help you. And they're kind of fun, honestly. <laughs> yeah, when, when people ask me, like, who's your favorite lecturer? I cannot really choose, you know? Cannot. That, that's real. Because every lecturer in ADTB is just so cool in different ways. It's hard to pick one that is the best lecturer. But you get the idea. They will introduce themselves, give you some ideas, some expectations of what the program is like. Of course, it's like a brief section. And after that, there is an activity session organized by student committee of CAE Center of American English. Technically, it's like the department that ADTB is under. And they will organize multiple activities for you. But the most important one would be campus tour. They will take you around campus, give you some ideas about what are good places to study, affordable places to eat, and you know, talk about the lectures and the courses in general. So make use of this session to make friends and get to know one another because it's gonna be useful in the future, isn't it? But most importantly is the math and English placement test. I think that's very crucial and a lot of students, they are really scared of that. Trust me, there's nothing to be scared of. First of all, the purpose of those two tests is for the university or HDB to know your level. Because if you pass those two tests, you don't need to take pre-calculus and introduction to college writing. And if you don't pass it yet, then you have to take those two because those are kind of prerequisites for the next level of math and English. But trust me, it's not that difficult. If you pass the math test, congratulations, you don't need to go through pre-calculus because pre-calculus can be a little bit difficult, but calculus one is kind of easier. But if you pass the English test, my advice to you is take the English course because I think English course, it's very crucial for you in that college writing class, you're gonna learn a lot about how to write academically and how to cite, how to write references and how to avoid plagiarism. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a video about the subjects in general, uh, some of the subjects or most of the subjects, all of the subjects that I take so far in Sunway University and give you some advice on those subjects. But in short, if you even pass the English test and you don't need to take the introduction to college writing, my advice to you is just to take it. Okay, so after the test, what's gonna happen next? Well, they're gonna inform you the score and whether or not you pass the test or not. Then it comes to the first week of school. Well, this week is called actual week, meaning that during this week, you can add or drop some of the subjects that you already chose to enroll. 
And one advantage of this week is that you can jump between classes. Let's say, you know, there are two classes that you really, really want to study, but the time kind of clashes with one another. So you kind of don't know which class you want to choose. So you can jump into one of the classes you like this day, and the next day you can jump into another class, and then you can compare and contrast which one is better, which lecturer suits me most, and what kind of things I'm gonna learn in this class and whether or not I like those materials. I, I, I really love the first week because usually I would enroll four subjects and I'm quite sure about those four subjects already. I won't change my mind. But on other days when I have free time, I jump between classes and pretend that I will take the class. And the lecture is really cool with you when you stay there. You know, not really cool when during the semester, but that week particularly, they are very often that you kind of know more lecturers and more friends from different classes, and that is super fun to do. And after that week, of course, you have to finalize your idea by the end of, I think, Friday, and you cannot change your decision to the end of the semester. Usually, one month before the final exam, one or two months, they would have a week call, you would draw a week. During this week, you can technically withdraw one of the subjects that you take. Let's say you are doing, okay, imagine, imagine, I'm not trying to think about this, but imagine there is a subject called math and you're doing not so well in that class and you're afraid that it's gonna affect your CGPA at the end of the semester. So you have the choice. You can withdraw the subject, means drop subject and everything just like erased. You know, bad scores, mistakes, careless mistakes, nothing will stay there, and you're safe. Of course, that's not refundable, the, the money that you spend on that subject. But, you know, uh, I've never withdrawn any subject that I've taken so far, not because I'm so smart, because I'm so stupid, I didn't know that was an option, but now you get it. That's technically the whole process of ADTP, and you're gonna do that constantly, two, three, four, five semesters until you find a university that you want to transfer to. I want to make another video, separate video, talking about the whole process, but I think like most of you will take the subject called University Life Ready. In that subject, the lecturers give you the ideas of what the process is like. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. I, 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 I don't know, but thank you very much for being here, and I will see you when I see you. Bye.